Hello, I am Ignacio Diaz Frenulich. Here we present a video summary of our work, pole dimensions, and the role of occupancy in unitary conductance of shaker potassium channels. This work was carried at the Centro Interdisciplinario de Neurociencias de Valparaíso, Universidad de Valparaíso, Chile, and at the Center for Bioinformatics and Integrative Biology at the Universidad Andres Bello, Santiago, Chile. In this work, we present experiments designed to measure the radius of capture of a small conductor's potassium channel by adding two molar circles to the internal solution. We estimate the radius of capture in 0.8 angstrom for shaker, and this estimate agrees with the KB1.2-2.1 puzzle chimera structure if we assume an effective radius of 4 angstrom for the hydrated potassium ions. We propose that, at difference of large conductance potassium channels, most of the electrical resistance of this channel resides at the inner cavity. Potassium channel mediates highly selective and efficient passage of potassium ions across the plasma membrane. High selectivity is achieved by intimate interaction between ions and the most conserved locus of potassium channels, the selectivity filter, located at the external face of the pore. Despite of the high conservation of the selectivity filter, the potassium ion transport properties of different potassium channels varies widely, with unitary conductance spanning a range of two orders of magnitude. Our hypothesis is that the differences in the structure of the inner cavity accounts for this diversity in single channel conductance. The figure shows the comparison of the structure of three potassium channels, where the selectivity filter is almost invariant, while the inner section of the pore is widely different. In Shaker, a low conductance potassium channel, mutations at proline 475, a residue located toward the cytoplasmatic entrance of the pore, increases single channel conductance up to sixfold with any detectable effect in selectivity. The figure shows a comparison of single channel conductance between Shaker and a variant having an aspartate in position 475, where the maximal conductance at saturating potassium concentration was increased by fourfold in the mutant. We have proposed in the past that this increase is due to the higher pore occupancy, as molecular dynamic simulation indicates. This figure suggests that the structural determinants for low conductance in shaker are distal from the selectivity filter. And these findings make the variant 475D an excellent probe to identify key determinants of potassium channels unitary conductance. The increase in unitary conductance may be due to higher occupancy or a change in the pore dimensions at the internal entrance. To test for the contribution of the size of the pore to increase of conductance, we measure the rays of capture of shaker wild type, the large conductance P475D, and as a control, a neutral mutant variant with proline 475 was replaced by a neutral glutamine. We increased the internal solution viscosity by addition of two molar sucrose and measured the single channel current amplitude in search for a regime where the current becomes voltage independent, revealing the diffusion limit affirmation step. Using the theory for diffusion limited reaction, we could estimate the dimensions of the internal entrance of the pore by using the equation in the slide, where IDL is the voltage independent current, C is the charge of the ion, F is the Faraday constant, G is the diffusion coefficient for a potassium in a solution containing two molar sucrose and C as the concentration of the permanent cation. We measured the radius of capture of wild type P475D substitution and as a control of charge introduction the P475Q variant. Both wild type and proline 2 glutamine replacement display very similar diffusion limited currents of 1.2 picompere in our experimental condition indicating similar radius of capture and suggesting that proline substitution at the internal entrance do not change the pore dimensions. For proline 475 to aspartic variant, the diffusion limited current was twofold larger. Considering we show in the work by Moscoso et al. that local potassium concentration in this mutant is doubled, we conclude that all shaker variants have similar pore dimensions. The collision theory assumes no electrostatic interaction, so we estimate the radius of capture of shaker variant in about 0.8 angstroms. So the pore seems to be very narrow, just enough to allow ion passage. If the potassium ion were a point charge, the radius of capture would be the average radius of the pore, but because ions have finite size and carry an hydration shell, their dimensions must be added to estimate the real pore size. Nevertheless, the hydration shell is a fuzzy structure and there is a lot of uncertainty about its dimensions. We use the structure of the potassium channel KB1.2-2.1 public chimera published by the McKinnon's lab in search for the structural validation of our radius of capture estimation. 
Our rational was that if the hydrated potassium complex has different size, the structure that we will see will depend on its size. Then, if the probe is a point charge, it will go across all the roughness of the pore structure. As the probe gets larger, it will not resolve the structure a little smaller than its own size, and if the probe is even bigger than the pore, it will not even go into the pore. If we subtract the radius of the probe from the radius of the opening left of the probe after rolling all over the protein surface, we obtain an in silico estimation of the radius of capture. This estimation agrees with our experimental results when the radius of the probe is near to 4 angstrom. These results suggest that the average hydrodynamic radius of the potassium approaching the internal and transal shaker is also near 4 angstroms. This narrow radius of capture suggests that unlike large conductance channels, a significant part of the electric field drops across the inner cavity. We made a 5 in series resistor model in order to account for the individual contribution of different sections of the pore to the total channel resistance. After unilateral exposure to two more sucrose that increase the solution resistivity by 7 fold, we estimate the internal and external access resistance together with that of the inner pore. In contrast to large conductance potassium channels, in which most of the potential drops across the selectivity filter, we determined that the shaker resistance resides mainly in the inner cavity, while only 8% is due to the selectivity filter. To reduce the inner cavity resistance, we introduced additional aspartate residues into the internal vestibule to favor pore occupancy. Even that our molecular dynamic simulation showed a large increase of pore occupancy in all church variants, no aspartic addition raised maximal unitary conductance beyond 200 picosiemens, measured at saturated potassium concentration, and suggesting a conductance ceiling for shaker type of channel. This value is only one third of the maximal conductance of the large conductance BK channel, reducing the energy gap between their transport rate to about 1 kT. The radius of capture of shaker potassium channel is near 0.8 angstroms, just enough to fit a potassium ion. This radius of capture makes sense with the structure of KV channels if the hydrodynamic radius of potassium is assumed to be 4 angstroms. Unlike of BK channels, in which most of the resistance of the permeation pathway resides in the selectivity filter, in shaker channel is located at the inner cavity. Shaker channels has a conductance ceiling of 200 picosiemens, one third of BK channels, showing an energetic gap of 1 kT for ion transport.